coming. No matter what it is, that don't break it. What's up? This is Travis Green. I'm headed to one of my favorite places, Warri Delta State, and hanging out with my good friends, Reverend Eagle and the Glorious Fountain Choir. Um, this is going to be an incredible conference this, this July. I need everybody to plan to be there. It's called Revival, Fire, Power, and Glory. That's right. It's a worship encounter right there at the City of Refuge every day at 3 p.m. July 20th through the 22nd. Listen, do what you can do to be in the place so we can worship and go up together. I can't wait to see you soon. Love you. Hello there, you're once more welcome to the Glory Rain Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God has something beautiful for you today. I want to encourage you to make the most of this day. The Bible says, you know, in the book of Ephesians chapter number 5, we should walk circumspectly as wise, not as fools. Seeing the day a portion, all right? He said, we should make the most of the time, redeeming the time. Make the most of today. Have a wonderful time. No matter what you will hear, no matter what you see, make up your mind to have a glorious, beautiful day. Have some time with family, with friends. Rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. And do everything in moderation fixing your eyes and your gaze on the Lord Jesus, for he will definitely, definitely bring glory to his name, no matter what. Hallelujah. Yesterday we were looking at the word of God, taken from the book of John chapter number three, and looking at the amazing and glorious personality of Jesus. And John the Baptist was testifying about him, how by virtue of the life of Jesus, you know, glorious things happen in our lives. He, he coming in, makes all the difference and when he comes in into your life your life can never be the same again and you know john was talking about the fact that he's from above and we are from the earth and he who is from above is above all he who is from above came from heaven bears testimonies of things that are in heaven talks about what he is acquainted with we are the ones who are trying to catch up we are hoping and looking forward to being with him in heaven. And, you know, the only way we can get that to become a reality is to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of our lives. And we read yesterday verse 34 of John chapter number 3, and it simply says, For since he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, proclaims God's own message, God does not give him his spirit sparingly or by measure, but boundless is the gift God makes of his spirit. So Jesus has it in boundless dimensions. There are no, there are no limits of God in Jesus, all right? And verse 35 says, the father loves the son and has given, entrusted, committed everything into his hand. Now take this serious. The father God Almighty loved the son and has given him everything. What he's giving to Jesus is everything. That means there is nothing that you can think of that you, you, you are going to look up to any other, you know, whatever deity to help accomplish in your life. The Father loves the Son and he's giving him everything. Don't forget, in John 1, he is the one who made everything. In him was life, and the light, in him was light, and the light is the life of all that comes into the world is the light that lighted everyone that comes into the world all right and so it's amazing so the father loves it the son jesus and has given him everything he has entrusted committed everything into his hand and that includes your eternal salvation jesus has the final say no other prophet no other whatever jesus alone has the final say all right and then that to draw something to your attention, whatever you aspire to become, whatever you aspire to acquire, whatever you aspire to fulfill in life, you need Jesus to make that a reality. The next verse, verse 36 says, and he who believes in, has faith in, clings to, relies on the son, has now possess, has now possesses eternal life, but whoever disobeys 
is unbelieving toward, refuses to trust in, disregards, is not subject to the Son, will never see, experience life, will never see or experience life. But instead, the wrath of God abides on him. God's displeasure remains on him. His indignation hangs over his, I mean, him continually. God's indignation. Now, when you reject the son, you chose wrath. If you reject Jesus, you, you've already chosen, you've already made up your mind. You've chosen death and condemnation. But if you accept the son, you have life. You have eternal life. You have abundant life. And things begin to turn around for you. Now, there, there are a lot of things that people wish to have on earth. Oh, a lot of people look forward to heal, to being healed, miracles, manifestations of what we call breakthroughs. You see, all of these things, they are nothing without Jesus. Jesus is the game changer. Jesus is the one who makes the difference. And without him, your life is going to be completely, completely in so much confusion, lack of peace, lack of contentment. And you know what? The guarantee of a life after now is in Christ. Don't miss that for anything. If he has committed all things to his son, then your eternal destiny is in the hands of Jesus. Why would you follow a man who will tell you where I'm going, I don't know? Why will you follow a prophet who does not know what his own end will be. Why not go the way of he who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but by me. He said, I will get you there. I will make it happen. And you know, he didn't mind his words, and he meant what he said. He gave his life on the cross. He died for you and I. And then he rose up from the grave. No other has done that. Is I have power to put my life down and have power to take it up again. Nobody killed him without him making himself available. He offered himself as a sacrificial lamb for the redemption of our sins because without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. Scripture says so. So his blood has to be shed. So he offered himself willingly for human beings to slaughter him. But you see, when it was time, when the price has been paid, he rose up victoriously from the grave. And he's the one who is saying, I will take you there. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Make Jesus the Lord of your life today, and you'll see the great and glorious difference. It's been a wonderful time with you on the Glory, Rem, Devotion. Till I see you tomorrow, keep living in the presence of God. Have a beautiful day. God bless you.